guys want to hear my opinions about the video game industry, especially the AAA gaming industry, I have said time and time again that the AAA industry is going to implode because it's going to get to the point where nobody's going to buy $70, $100, $80, $90. I'm sorry, nobody's going to pay that much for a video game. And now since we are in a <coughs> economic downtown, quote unquote, that comes from our lovely president, uh, no offense, but I just find it funny for a reason. But this is not a politic video, this is a video game video, so I'm going to keep the politics off. So, because, we're, because, of a, because of the economic downturn we're facing, the video game industry, uh, especially the AAA industry, is simply imploding on itself. It, it's not sustainable uh, because there, it's too much, it's getting too expensive to make and nobody in this time and era is willing to pay and fuck out $70. I could go, I could go to a gas station and buy a whole bunch of food for $70. You know, I could... I mean, some McDonald's doesn't have the best price for food, like they used to, but I could go to McDonald's uh, and go buy 70, go buy like $70 worth of food, you know? Why would I ever want to pay $70 for a video game? Regardless of the quality it has, it's $70. I'd get it if it's $60, $50, $40, $30, $20, $10, and even $9. But not $70. You know, and on top of that, I have said time and time again, it's going to get to a point where the AAA game industry is going to import on itself. And that's exactly what we're seeing. So I maybe I might have worded a little bit differently, but it's pretty much the same thing. And also, I always make a mistake. So I'm a human being. What do you expect? <laughs> you know, my point is is that um, is that we're seeing the triple A industry imploding on itself. Why? Because it cannot sustain itself, just like Hollywood. But again, this is I'm gonna stick. I'm going to try my hardest to try to get to stay, make this video as a, about video games, not Hollywood or, or any other pop culture industry that I love. Which, yes, I do love Hollywood. Uh, but the fact is, is we're seeing, the, we might be seeing the end of modern AAA games as we know it. But my say is a good thing. And the reason I say it's a good thing is because that means no unrelease, no release buggy, broken games. And we're still going to have horrible games. I totally get that. But, but they'll be much more rare to happen, you know? At the end of the day, we just want to buy, we just want to at the end of the day, the, we want to we want the game that we buy to be to have good quality, uh, to be a great quality game, to to play well and be functional. You know, that's all we want. We're the one paying the money for the corporation. You know. Um, also, Toys for Bob has officially went independent. They're, they used to be owned by Activision Blizzard. Then they were on, then they were owned by Microsoft because Microsoft bought Activision Blizzard, King, and now they're independent. I say, good, get on, get on them. That means 
that the industry is becoming less consolidated. I'm not really, but come on. I, I, I still can hope and dream that our industry will become less and less consolidated. <laughs> Which may never happen, but it's a pipe dream that I have. <laughs> um, sorry, the, the sun, and the, the cloud that's covering the sun, that's why the, the lighting is really bad. Sorry. <laughs> There's a window up right here. Right here, where's my phone? Right here, um, and the cloud is, uh, there's a cloud covering the sun, and that's why it's really dark. Yeah. Anyway, I say good for Toys for Bob. I mean, now they can do whatever they want, you know? So good for them, you know? Um, hoping they don't squander it like, uh, Blizzard, not Blizzard, uh, Bethesda, not Bethesda, one company, uh, Bungie's, so hopefully they don't wandle, screw, squander it like Bungie did, uh, because they, they used, Bungie used to be an independent studio. Uh, well, actually, Bungie used to be owned by Microsoft, then they got, then it became independent. Then, it got trapped by Activision, Activision. then it became independent, and then it got bought by, by Sony. Uh, I, I'm just like, I thought you guys want to be independent. <laughs> like, wow, you guys really screwed yourself over. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but, eh. Who knows? Um, but go up PC, PC Master Race. <laughs> Seriously. Um, yes, I know. I'm just being, I'm being a goofball. But seriously, though, I love PC games. I love the amount of games you can buy. I love the 50 plus thousand, not 50 plus, but the 50,000 plus games that is on Steam. Steam alone uh, seriously that's more games than than the combined games that have been on that have been on xbox nintendo and uh, playstation consoles combined you know and it's sad because if xbox were to allow more games on their storefront that is it like allow essentially did if they do what Steam did with, with with allowing games on on the that Steam allowed games on the platform and do what Steam did, I'd gladly play Xbox games, and they would have to get rid of the only online the the always on the one they had to get rid of the always online DRM for one, and two they had to get rid of the uh, the Xbox Live Gold subscription, plain not simple, uh, and they they had to make it so that so that completely free and everyone could play online for online for free with the games they bought, and not have to pay Xbox Game Pass Co or Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription just to play online for free. Yeah. Without, obviously without buying the games, but still, and the same and the same the same with Nintendo, the same with Sony, they all do this, and it's a total scam. It might have it might have made sense back in the what the the nineties and eighties and early two thousands, but I mean, come on, today everything is connected through online. How we. We have freaking smart fridge for heaven's sake. What's next? Smart microwave? <laughs> you know? Like, I'm sorry, but we have smart fridge. My, technically, my parents, my, my parents' place, they have a literal smart fridge. It has like a screen on it. It's so cool because you can play uh, music on it. And I'm just like, this is actually quite awesome. But it's so expensive. But my point is, is we're, 
we have smart fridge that can connect over the internet. A freaking fridge, my ad, that can connect to the internet. If we have smart fridge that can connect to the internet, why do we need to pay a subscription to play on my to play games that we paid 70, 60, 40, 50, did I have made that up? 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 9 dollars just to play, just to play the game. Why do we need to pay a, a full membership just to play? And I totally get, you know, Xbox had, always had an Xbox Live Gold. Um, so, you know, I get that. You know, at least they always had it, and they never once had um, a console where it was completely free. Then and get and seriously, get on them. No, seriously, get on them. But that doesn't change the fact that I don't want to have to pay seventy, sixty to who knows how much money for a video game, and then pay what fourteen ninety nine and a subscription. $14.99 on a subscription just to play games online. You know, I just won't do it. And so, my parents, I get, so I get, I'm disabled. Not physically, well, technically I am physically disabled because I'm deaf and they say, and I don't have a call, I mean, I don't poop out of my butt. Like normal people, but uh, I I'm disabled and I get uh, disabilities uh, checks the SSI checks every month and uh, these SSI is money that I can use to you know pay my rent pay the bills. Well, my mom I love my mom I really do has been uh, have been help helping me save money for a Steam Deck. Not Steam Deck, a um, gaming PC. No, I mean Steam Deck is technically a gaming PC, but that's not the PC I'm talking about. I mean a full-on gaming PC tower that I can have right next to my TV and play video games. That's what I want. <laughs> I also want a, a Steam Deck OLED so I, can, so I can play my games on the go. I used to have a... so. Funny thing is, I had a Steam account before the one I have currently because um, what happened, the one I had got uh, stolen, my fault, being, me being stupid, but it got stolen at that, that because I spent a lot of money on that account. I had like a whole flu of like, I had so many games that I bought that well, that that I own that well that the own game your own game counter on steam was close to a thousand games and that was on my old steam account that got that got stolen that was a, like that was at the beginning of last year and it was sad but i have created a new account and that's the one i have now bye